your profit. For HSC and others, Adam works from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. This is 12 hours. Adam dropped out of school, so he works at McDonald's. In 2017 in Hong Kong, McDonald's pays $34.50 per hour. How much does Adam get per day? Well, $34.50 times 12. Put the answers down there. I'll give you a tick. Do that on your calculator. Betty finishes high school so she works as a teller in a bank from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. How many hours is that? Uh, it's four less than 12. Eight hours. Each day at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays. A total of. Okay, so it's Eight times five, Monday to Friday, and then four. So it's 40, 44 hours per week. Betty gets 4,000 Hong Kong dollars per week. So her hourly wage is 40,000 divided by 44 hours, which equals, hey, doing the calculator, put the answers down there below. I'll give you a tick. It's rounded to two decimal places. Yeah, nine, one. You round them. Two decimal places because that's how many cents there are. No, mind you, in Hong Kong, nine zero. Because in Hong Kong, you can't get one cent anymore. Cat got a degree from college and is now a lawyer earning one million Hong Kong dollars per year. Cat works from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for five days a week for 49 weeks of the year. Cat's hourly wage is one million. Hourly wage is one million. Oh, one because she gets one million per year. Divide by how many hours is she doing a day? Mm, hours a day. Uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, that's eight hours a day. Eight hours is usual working day. Five days, 49 weeks. Good. Put that in your calculator, put the answers down below. Most of her money goes on her apartment and her kids' school fees. Kat does not get paid for the 30 hours a week overtime she has to work. Yeah, lawyers, they work lots of overtime. Dan also got a degree and a master's degree. So that, that's, that's three years, that's an extra two years, So mostly. So he could teach in a local school in Hong Kong. Dan gets... Uh, 24,000 K means thousand per month. This means 24,000. He gets to school at 7.30 a.m. and is marking books until 8 p.m. Yeah, local teachers in local schools, they work very hard uh, each night. Dan works, well, it's more than 12 hours, 12 and a half hours per weekday and works 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays. Yeah, particularly if they're doing sports and stuff. Dan's weekly wage is 24,000 Hong Kong dollars times 12 months divided by 52 weeks equals what's his weekly wage he works how many hours is he working 12 and a half times 5 12 and a half times 5 12 times 5 is 60 so it's 62 and a half hours and then on Saturdays he works 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, an extra 4 hours, so that's 66 and a half hours, 6 per week. Dan's hourly wage is that much, oh, that much divided by that much. Dan gets 8 weeks paid holiday per year. Oh, that's the good thing about being a teacher. It's paid holiday. Lots of holidays. Ella has a degree and a post graduate certificate. Okay, postgraduates in England, that takes 3 years. Postgraduate certificate of education. Ah, degree, then a postgraduate certificate. That's an extra year, sorry. 3 years plus 1 year, 4. From the UK. So she is at Ireland School. She gets 51,000 per month. What is Ella's weekly wage? Oh, 51,000 uh, times 12 divide by 52. Because there's 12 months in the year, divide by 52. You get almost the same if you just say, oh, there are four weeks to a month, divide by four. This doesn't work out as accurately. What is Ella's weekly wage? Uh, write that one down below. I'll give you a tick. Ella gets a bonus called a gratuity of 20% when she finishes each two-year contract. 20% of 51,000 is 20 over 100 times 51,000. Yeah, 
Put that one. Fred sews trainers in a sweatshop in China. His work his work is piece work. Yeah, piece work means for each piece you get, you get a certain number. Fred gets one Hong Kong dollars per piece, per trainer. He sews approximately 200 per week. Usually people just do the left or just do the right. What is his estimated yearly wage? Okay. Uh, whew. He, he gets $200 uh, per week times 52. Hey. Greg works from 6.30 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, overnight. For 34.5 Hong Kong dollars per hour for seven days a week. He gets $15 per hour. He gets overtime of time and a half on Saturdays and double time on Sundays. So time and a half, you've got to times it by 1.5 for Saturdays. Double time times it by two for Sundays. Um, he's doing how many hours? Uh, twelve and a half hours by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, he's doing twelve and a half hours. Twelve and a half hours. Uh, overtime time and a half. Fifteen dollars per hour. Times fifteen. Oh no, that's only one day. Five days. Times fifteen dollars per hour, five days. That's still got to times by the fifteen dollars per hour, and that's also got to times by fifteen dollars per hour. Oopsie! Put the thing down below. Greg pays one thousand dollars in rent per week for a cage bunk in a shared dorm. How much is his income after rent? Put that down below. Excellent. Press like if you like my videos. Press subscribe for more of my videos. Here's my card. I teach HSCs, GCSE, IBs, A levels, and SATs. I work in the schools in Hong Kong. Um, and my email if your mum wants to do me come to your home and do home tutoring in mid levels, then she should contact me or Skype lessons. Your mum or your dad should contact me via goodluckgaryhk at gmail.com. Bye!